So here we are again, having another look at a quick little tutorial. This one's a quick detecting edges tutorial. And you might want to ask, why would you want to detect edges? Well, you can really make some interesting photographic effects with detect the edges. So let's have a look at it without any further ado. Create a new document. Again, let's use a six inch by four inch postcard. And I'll put a transparent background for this one. Name it Detecting Edges Tutorial. How simple is that? Load in your image. In this case, supplied on my download site. Use the place command and adjust your size. Or even use your own image. There's plenty of images in the stock studio, in fact. Completely free, like this one. This, there's no copyright on this one. With the image layer selected, go to the Merge and Rasterize icon and select it. Then select Rasterize. You have to rasterize these images, otherwise you can't use them the way we're going to use them. It, just nothing happens. Next, select Filters and scroll down to select the option Detect Edges. Straightforward there. Got the filters selected and you scroll down the list and you'll see Detect Edges. This is what your canvas looks like now once you've tapped on the on the line for detect edges and it puts the edges darkens the image and clearly enhances the edges. You now have an image you can work with. There's no adjustment on this um, option but to, to this filter but you can apply it more than once. <laughs> and here we go it's got a second application. Just tap the detect edges again. And you can see it's quite a good deal stronger than the first one. And this is the third application. It's starting to distort the image quite badly now. Beyond this, the image really starts to lose definition. So let's see what we can do next. Apply simple lighting to the couple. Use the lighting filter. Now I've got it in the top left hand corner. So the light is actually coming from behind the man towards the woman. Adjustments made to the lighting. Remember to apply any effects you make. If you make an adjustment, tap that little tick box up there to hold it in place. Otherwise, as soon as you get off that exercise, it loses the adjustment. Now you can see the lighting is, is kind of high lit uh, the man's face and a little bit of the woman's. You could adjust that by moving those lines in and out as you like. So you've got an image of a man and a woman standing in a darkened street perhaps with a yellow orange street light behind them and the darkness of the night uh, behind the woman. Now we use an FX gradient fill to add some atmosphere to the image and that's what I've used there. It's a it's an in the effect effects studio and a gradient fill with orange and blue. Very straightforward, but it completely changes that image we started with. Not all images lend themselves to detect edges manipulation, and that's another one, and that looks, hmm, well, rather odd to say the least. So you really couldn't use that one. So just be aware of that. Let your imagination guide you in how you use filters to modify layers. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe because it helps to keep me going.